So as you can see, I already attached the sleeve. I, I um, crocheted the sleeve. Here I, I sewed here the, the seam, the side seam. It is sewed on both sides. I left a little bit open here for the sleeve. Now for the opening, you see how much you want it open. Depends on, on the size you're making. You see how much you want it open to make the sleeves. I left these open for me. This, this is enough. I closed here, as I told you, I sewed it, the sides, and I made the sleeve now i will be showing you how to make the other sleeve but this one it's ready the first one um, this is the front here the shoulders and the front um, so now we're going to start the sleeve here is the um, the top and here is the bottom the shoulders and the bottom we're going to start from the bottom here the bottom of the sleeve you have the first space here and we're going to start in the first place there here is the seam the first space before after the seam and we start by making three two chains and we make two trebles as i always tell you the trebles are in english and if you're using the american version you have to these are double crochet but i'm using using the english version that's why i say treble so when i say treble it's double crochet in american and we do we make two trebles with the chains those are three we make a chain we go in the next space and we do we do three trebles so now the first row of the sleeves we have to make three trebles in each space we have all around you continue making the trebles like this we make another chain we go on the next space and we make another th three trebles one two and three and you continue all around making a chain and three trebles in each space that you have all around you continue all around until you arrive here in the last in the last space and then i tell you what to do so now we are we made the last three trebles in the last space there three trebles we make a chain no we don't make a chain the first one we don't make a chain we just go in the first three chains in the first three chains that we make and we finish with a slip stitch don't make a chain when you arrive there now we start with two chains we turn the work around now we turn the work around and we start from where we finished from where we finished when we turn the work around we're going to start now we don't continue going we don't continue going over there we turn this the the work and we start from here so we made the two chains and we're going to make two trebles one and two <clears throat> we make a chain and we're going to make three trebles in each space that we have all around you continue making three trebles that is the second one and the third one so we make three trebles we didn't go straight as i told you we turned the work around and we're going to make three trebles in each space with a chain to separate them and this is the row ready now we make we made the last three in the last space we make a chain now we make a chain we go in the first two chains that we started and we finish with a slip stitch so we made the last three trebles a chain and a slip stitch in the first chain now the next row we're going to um decrease so we start with two chains we turn around the, the work and instead of 
two trebles, we make only one treble now. So we have the two chains and only one treble we have to make because now we are decreasing the chains and the treble only one. And we continue the same. We make a chain and three trebles in each space that we have. Now we continue with a chain and three trebles in the space all around. You continue all around like that. Only the first one we make two. The other is the same. Three and a chain. So now the row is ready. We only have the last space empty. So we will make a chain. And this is where we started. So we make a chain. Now here in the last space, we are going to make only two trebles. So we started with two trebles in the first space. And in the last space, we're going to make two trebles too. Then without, without making a chain, you don't make a chain. You go in the first two chains that we made. And we finish with a slip stitch. We close it with a slip stitch. And that is the first decrease. That is the first decrease. Now, we're going to start the next row. And the next row, first we turn the, the work around. We don't do the chains, we just turn the work around first after the decrease. This row is after the decrease. And we have to start from the first space that we find. So, We have to, to start from the first space that we find here. Here we have to start. So the, to go there, we go there with a slip stitch. We make a slip stitch in the stitches we have until we arrive in the first space that we have. We arrived at the first space and we're going to do the same. Two chains and two trebles in the first one. Two chains and two trebles, one and two. Now we make a chain and we continue as usual, three, three trebles and a chain, three trebles and a chain. The row is ready and we closed, we, we closed uh, with a slip stitch, we made three, three trebles in the last space. We skipped those where we, where we decreased. We made a chain and we made a slip stitch in the first chain. Now we start the next row with three, two chains. We turn the, the work around again and we make two trebles. Now this row is going to be like the others. We make three trebles in each space that we have and the chain to separate them. That is the first one. Here we make three trebles. Now, like this row, you have to make another two rows. So you make this row that we're making and another two rows. In all, we have to make three rows like this. After three rows like this, like this one, and another two rows. So the three rows are ready that we made and we're, we're in the row to the, the row that we decrease again. So we start with two chains. We turn the work around. This is the same as, as the others when we decrease. And we make only one treble. So the first we have to make two, the chains and only one treble because it's a decrease row. Only the chains and one treble. We make a chain and we continue like we do the other rows. We make three trebles in each space that we have and the chain to separate them. All the row like that. Three chains, three trebles and the chain. So we, we finish the row. We have the last space. We make a chain. The chain is ready here. And in the last space, we have to make only two trebles because this is the decrease row. So we finish with two trebles. We don't make a chain. We go in the chains here that we, we made in the beginning. And we finish. We close the row with a slip stitch. We close with a slip stitch and that is the row where we decreased. This is the other row that we decreased. Now we turn the work around and we're going to start this row. We'll start from the first space. So to go to the first space, we have to go here with a slip stitch. You go there with a slip stitch. We make two chains. 
and we make two trebles in the first space and this row we're going to do the same three trebles a space three treble a chain sorry three trebles a, a chain all around you continue all around like that this row is ready we, we finished with three trebles we make a chain and we go in the first chain here where we made and we finish with a slip stitch we close it with a slip, slip stitch now we're going to start the next row we start with two chains we turn the work around again and we make two trebles in the first space and with the chains those are three this we're going to do the same we make a chain and three trebles in the next one chain three trebles now like this row we have to make this row this row and another two rows in all we have to make three so this row and another two rows the three rows are ready again we finish there now we start again with two chains this row is going we're going to the, the to decrease again and we make a treble only one treble two those are two only the chains and the treble because we're going to decrease we make a chain and we make three trebles in the next space and you continue like that three trebles and a chain three trebles and a chain now we arrived in the last space and in the last space we have to make two trebles because this row is the row where we're, we're decreasing so we make two trebles we don't make a chain we go in the first chains that we made in the beginning when we made those two and we finish with a slip stitch we close it with a slip stitch and that is the row that we decreased now we turn the work around now we go the row after we decrease we go we have to go in the first space so we go there with a slip stitch like the others like the other ones where we decreased we go to with a slip stitch until we arrive in the first space we make three cha two chains and two trebles in the space you make a chain and three trebles a chain three trebles a chain all around you continue all around until you arrive in the last one you make three trebles and you close the so the row is ready as you can see we closed it here we closed it here we make two chains we turn the work around and we make two trebles one and two we make two trebles we make a chain and we make three trebles in each row space that we have now like this row we only have to make one row only one row you have to make because the rows after we're going to change the color so the row is ready i closed the the row i cut the thread now i'm using this color now with this color we have to make two rows with this color this row that i'm going to show you and the row after only two rows with this color so we start and we're going to do the same we start we pull up a stitch we start with two chains and we make two trebles in this space in the first space in the same space where we made the chains one and two we make a chain and three trebles in the space and the chain to separate them so the two rows are ready as you can see i cut the thread now i'm going to use again the red the red color um this is the row where we decrease we're going to decrease in this row so we i turn the work i started with two chains I made I make a treble only one because this is the row where we decrease you make a chain and, and as the others you make three trebles in each space that we have with a chain this to separate them you make three trebles and a chain to separate them so we are at the end of the row the last space 
and we're going to make we made the chain we make two trebles like we, we use, usually do we make two trebles we don't make a chain we go in the first chain here and we close the row with a slip stitch and this only we are going to make only one row with this color then we cut the thread and we use another color after this one so we cut the thread i turned the work around i already turned the work around this is the row where we decreased the row we made before this one that we're going to make was the one to decrease so i'm started with the, with another color as usual we make two chains and two trebles in the first one because um, the chains serve as a treble so we have three trebles in the first one then we make a chain and three trebles in each one in each space that we have all around when we arrive in the last one we make three trebles two a chain and we close here with a slip stitch in the first chain here we make three trebles a chain and we finish with a slip stitch in the first chain so the two rows are ready i cut the thread the two rows with the brown are ready i cut the thread we're going to use the red again and we're going to do the same like we did before in the first one we make two chains and two trebles and then you make a chain and three trebles in each space that we have this is the first one and you can with this color you only have to make one row one row of red three trebles in each space with a chain to separate them so this row is ready to i cut the thread again now i'm going to use the white now in white for now we have to make only one row like this because the row after we're going to decrease we start with two chains as as we do we did the others two trebles in the first space with the chains are three and then we make three trebles in each space that we have with us with a with a chain to separate them all around you continue all around like that only one row then the second row with white we're going to decrease the row after this one we're going to decrease so we're going to continue with the white we make two chains this row is go we're going to decrease we turn the work around and we make only one treble in the first one then we continue as usual a chain and three trebles in each space we continue as usual three trebles in this space and the first one we make two treble we finish with two trebles then we don't make a chain and we go in the first chain there to finish and we finish with a slip stitch the last one two no chain and slip stitch the row is ready too this is where we, we decreased these two and these two where we finished now we're going to make an um, start with the red again we're going to make two rows with the red again now we turn the work around we go in the first space that we find after we decrease here after the stitches where we decreased we go in the first one and we make two chains we make two chains and two trebles then we make a chain and we make three trebles in each space that we have and like this row we have to make this row and another row two rows we have to make like this we're going to make that we're making those are the three then you make a chain three trebles in each one you make this row that we're making and you make the row after when you arrive at the last space there you make three you make a chain you go in the first chains here and you finish with a slip stitch the two rows are ready now the next row we're going to decrease so we make two chains we're going to continue with the red now only the red we go in the first one and we make only one treble this is the row where we're going to decrease you make a chain and three trebles in each space that you have all around three trebles all around then we arrive in the last one here you make only two trebles there in the last one without a chain you go here you go here and you close it with a slip stitch 
Now we're going to make the last two rows. Here is where we finished with, slip, with a slip stitch here where we decreased. We turn the work around. Now we have to go in the first in the first space that we have. So we go with a slip stitch over there to, until we arrive over there. We make two chains and a treble and two trebles in the first space. Then you continue like the others. You make a chain and three trebles in each space that you have. And like this row, you make this row. And you make, here you finish with three trebles, a chain, and you finish over here. And like this row, you make another row. So the sleeves are ready. Both of them are ready. Now we're going to make the neck. The part of the neck, we're going to make only one row around the neck. You go at the back. In the back, you start from here, from the back. You pull up a stitch near the, the back near the shoulders, where you attach the shoulders. You make a chain, and you're going to make a single crochet or double crochet, depends how you call it. In every stitch that we have, in every stitch and where there is, where you made the chain, you make a single crochet there too, or a double crochet. So you're going to make a double crochet or a single crochet, depends how you call it, in every stitch that you have all around the neck. And this is the final result, how the jersey came. These are the sleeves ready, as you can see. Um, you can use colors that you want, even um, dividing the colors. It, it depends how you want to divide them. And the final result, as you can see, is very nice. It has a little bit of work to do, but it's, the result is very nice. Hope that you understood what I was doing and that you try it. Bye for now.